Hi, my name is Brittany Behrens, and I'm a program manager on the Visual Studio Editor team. This video shows a demo of the Zoom feature, which is new for Visual Studio 2010. The simplest way to zoom is by holding control and using your mouse wheel. Say I'm presenting at a conference and want to make it easier for the back of the room to see my code. I can hold down control and scroll my mouse wheel forward to zoom in. Holding control and scrolling the wheel back toward me will zoom out. For those who prefer the keyboard, control shift period will zoom in and control shift comma will zoom back out. If I want to quickly return to 100% zoom level, or if I want to explicitly set a particular zoom level, I can use the combo box in the lower left hand corner of the editor. I can either click on the arrow to see a drop down list of common zoom levels, or type in my de desired value directly, in this case 100%. Zoom can also be useful as a code navigation feature. For example, I know I have a dictionary of GUIDs and strings somewhere in this file, but I'm not sure exactly where it is. I can quickly zoom out to see an overview of my file. Now it's easy to spot my dictionary. Based on the syntax highlighting and code structure, I can tell that it's right here. I can then zoom back in using either the mouse wheel, the keyboard shortcuts, or the zoom control to take a closer look and continue working with my code. To recap, you can zoom by using control mouse wheel, typing in the zoom combo box, selecting a common zoom level from the combo box's drop down list, or using the control shift period and control shift comma keyboard shortcuts. We hope you'll find a variety of uses for zooming in Visual Studio 2010 including temporarily increasing text size for presentations and quickly seeing an overview of your code. Thanks for watching and enjoy the new Zoom feature.